Okay, so this is just a quick video on a little item that I found hiding away in my attic that's probably been there for 20-something years, and it's the uh, Bravada Mondial 1900 Model 19X, if you can see that. And uh, so it says, Made in Italy, Bravada, B-R-E, or Bravetta, B-R-E-V-E-T-A-T-A. And what this is, is either a little starter pistol or tear gas pistol. And um, it's a little dirty because um, I just actually had to shoot it because there was some caps in it. And the only way I could take out this clip, and it's a clip, not a magazine. The only way I could take out this clip to show you is to shoot it. And I'll show you why in a second. But it's very loud and I wrapped it in a towel. And uh, that's the effect that you get just doing four shots. Uh, through a towel so it didn't make a hole in it but I actually did see uh, a lot of gases going right through that so it's certainly not a toy and um, it's certainly not a self-defense weapon and um, we'll just wipe this down but it could be I guess if you were using it as a last resort to scare away an animal or uh, if you use tear gas in it I don't have any tear gas um, what I did just order off of Amazon of all places is uh, these caps for it and uh, they're six millimeter Flobert blank caps and they were like 10 bucks for a hundred of them and it's just something I felt I needed so I got them so uh, the originals were uh, long shot and if you could see these these have a little acorn on them it's probably not going to show up but they are six millimeter and they're crimped on the end just like that and uh, so this is first off I'll show you how it works but I'm going to just show you the front muzzle this is blocked so it is incapable of firing a projectile out of it and you'll see in a second the way that the caps go in um, there's nothing the, the, they're facing the wrong way so there's no way that a projectile could even come out of it they're facing upwards and not outward so uh, but it's a cute little gun it's got a little chip on it it has a worn little uh, nickel finish and it has a uh, little safety here and I believe up is red is dead and it has a very long trigger and it has a little gate which I'll show you how that works in a second in the back and this is basically the uh, like I said the clip and let's see the way this works is they either pop out like you see or there has this little pin on the bottom that you could use to just pop these out and then you have this just feels like it's made out of uh, I don't know some kind of like uh, pot metal inexpensive metal and it's one two three four five six and uh, so the way this would work is we'll use it we'll use a blank in here um, you would an empty blank I should say we'll stick one of these in here and what you would do is you would load up six of these and then once you load it up you look for the spot where this little pin is and that's going to be the front and so you're going to put it in back to front but the important thing is you're going to turn the gun upside down to load this because the firing pin is on the bottom shooting up so what you're going to do is you would load up those six caps like that and then you slide it in and you see that little ball bearing you push it in until it clips and then we could uh, fold down this and we could wipe the gunpowder off my finger and then what happens is like I said there's a little safety there's some sights which are not needed or anything like that and the way this works is as you fire this it's there's a little mechanism that's moving this clip backwards so again this is a uh, not a live blank it's a already shot blank so I'm going to fire it indoors again it is kind of loud uh, but that's not going to happen right now. So the way this works is as you fire it, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So on the seventh, if you've seen the gate pops open and this little clip slides out and then you basically pull it out with your finger and you could use that little handy dandy tool right on the bottom to pop that out and then you throw those away and then you would restart it with uh, six more and uh, so it's just a cool little item it's I think it was made around in the in the 1970s these were kind of big especially in the uh, tri-state New York area a lot of people 
I knew carried these. I don't know why, but uh, again, I guess it's better than nothing. So if you didn't have a gun permit or whatever, but again, it's beat up a little bit. I don't know. I'm probably going to leave it like this because it'll probably never leave my home. But uh, a little chip, maybe I'll take a look on eBay and see if I could get some uh, new grips for this because I seem to be on a uh, grip replacement kick lately and uh, it has a little crack on it but it's a you know neat little thing and I don't remember where I got this holster but um, you probably wouldn't really need to carry it in a holster but if you wanted to that seems like it in the waistband holster but obviously it's not really meant for this particular gun and that is an old holster it says JP on it um, so I've never even heard of that holster company and uh, let's see JP leather so that's probably from the 70s and uh, I'm not sure where I got this maybe a flea market or, or something but again it has a very long uh, trigger on it so if you were to carry it even if you didn't put the, the safety on um, you know it uh, did it actually yeah so the safety does not permit the trigger from going all the way back but if you put the trigger all the way back, it does work. So uh, just a quick look at something cool. And again, I was going to shoot it, but it's really loud and don't want to scare the dog or the wife. So uh, I guess uh, Bravetta or Bravada 1900 Mondial 19X starter pistol. Um, just something cool. All right. Thanks very much for watching.